Okay, so today we are going to learn about the interactive presentation using the PowerPoint. Please use the offline PowerPoint because some feature will not be able in PowerPoint online. So do not use PowerPoint in Edmodo. But if you have uh, or PowerPoint installed in your laptop, please use it. First, we have to open the PowerPoint like this. Okay, and then for the first slide, type Welcome and then for add subtitle just type your name okay then what you have to do is just press the line and then make it a little bit up. okay for the next one we have to make the button just click shape and then choose the rectangle or basic shape this is up to you you can use any shape put in the middle like this and you may change the color how to change the color just click your shape okay and then go to format and then change the fill Okay, just choose it then you may change yeah and then start to write the button right click and then click edit text or add text and then start type You can change the text color. And then you can change the font size. Make it big or you can choose the effect. Okay. So this we can move to the middle one. Okay. So after we create the first slide, then we have to create the second slide. Just go to new slide and then click the arrow. Okay, and then choose title and content because we want to give some categories. Okay, now for the add title, type Okay, because we want to give option And then after that, we are going to put sh shape Okay, so just erase the box here How to erase it, just Click the line over here, click it, and then press delete from your keyboard. Okay, now we have blank place, yeah. And then click the shape, choose the rectangle or basic shapes, yeah, any shape you can use. Now I'm going to use the circle. Okay, we can create the first one. Okay. Now we have one, we want to create three circles, so what we are going to do is we have to copy it to make sure we have the same shape. So just click, make sure you click the shape, okay, and then right click, and then press copy, okay, and then now you can paste. Now you have second circle. Now P 
paste again. Now we have the third circle. Okay. Now we have three shapes. Now these shapes will be filled with some pictures. We want to put animal, plants, and land in Savory. So what we are going to do is we have to search first the pictures. So you have to go to Google Chrome. Okay, so now we have to get the pictures. Okay, after you open the Google, then just search our animals first. We can type animal in Safari. Okay, enter. Okay, and then we will get some some uh, results like this. Now, if you if your setting from your Google Chrome is not in English, you may get something like this. Then you can click directly change to English or you can click setelan bahasa then after you click it then choose English but now we just click change to English directly okay now we have some list here okay now choose one of them okay you can choose maybe three first cita click it and then we will get some information on it Okay, we can click and get the picture like this. Okay, yeah. This one, this is Chita. Just click and drag. Okay, if your computer cannot click and drag, okay, that's the first way. Just click and drag onto your desktop. Now, if you cannot do click and drag, just right click, then save image as. Okay, then wait. Now, you can choose desktop to save it and then click save. It will be saved. It will download it and then it will save into your desktop. Okay, now choose the another one, another, okay, I choose zebra. You can choose any animals here, okay, choose which one you like. And then while the base, just this one. Okay, and then we have to find some plants in Safari. Okay, we got it. For example, we got. Click images first, then find the good one. Okay, I found this. Yeah, and then the lines. Okay, we got this. Just take one. Okay, now minimize it. And then we go back to our PowerPoint. Okay, now we have three options. First, animal. The second one for plants. And then the third one for land. Okay, so how we put the picture in our shape. So first, choose the shape first. Okay, and then right click. And then format shape. Okay, in fill, please click picture or texture like this and then choose picture. Okay, now choose desktop because, because we save it in desktop. Now choose one of animal, for example, wildebeest or cheetah. this hold this and then click ok now it will become like this and then do for the second one right click format shape 
then just the second picture and then stop then just the plants insert and then okay like this then for the third one same for my shape fill and then picture or texture just picture and then stop just the plant picture now we have one two three shape now okay now we have to uh, set if user click animals it will goes to animals information if they click plants they will get information about the plants and then same with lands so what we have to do we have okay for the next one we have to create the next slide click new slide and then choose title and content actually if we want to choose two content it's okay yeah but i prefer i prefer choose the title and content so i choose title and content now i will type the title of our animal Okay, and then now I will start to insert the picture. Okay, click picture icon here. Okay, and then just do the stop. Choose our picture. Okay, now I would like to minimize it. Okay, now. Maybe it's a little bit blur, but if you uh, get the good picture, it will be nice. Okay, now we have to get the information about all the bees. So get the information from the Google. Then you may get, you just click the picture first. Later on, you will get the information like this. Okay, block it and copy right click copy okay and then minimize it now if you don't have the text box like this you may click insert yeah find in insert and then click text box click it and then choose text box and then type or start to right click paste Okay, now you have the information about the wall the bees. Block it or highlight, then you can change the font size. Okay. Just too big. Okay. Now this is the information about the animal. Now how if the user click the plants so we have to uh, get the information about the plants same yeah we can click and then title and content and then the plan we just get the plants for the plants one we can find the acacia plant safari and we click it then we can get the information but before that if you want to download just click and drag or i told you already before so we just copy and paste this right click and then copy and then we go back to our slides now the name is acacia tree And then we have to find the picture. This one. And then we can move it. Okay. Then, as usual, we can click the text box for the information. Paste. Okay. 
and then change the information or the font size 28 or 24 so like this yeah. and then for the last one is about lunch how looks like the savory same now just title and content and then go back to google last one we can find in google african savanna type african savanna and then press enter and then we will get this click one of picture okay we can save this or maybe you can choose another picture okay and then we can get the uh, information here remember if you download but your picture format uh, looks like this it means you cannot consider this is the picture because the format is on website so please choose the picture format with dot gpg or png you can see the difference if you got this you cannot use it okay because because it you even cannot open it so just delete it and then find the correct pictures with dot gpg okay but now we can copy and paste first the information go back and then we can save it first this okay. then for the picture we can use another one we can click images and then find find the picture okay if the gpg it can be used so now we go back to powerpoint and then find the picture okay now we can type african savanna now for the design of course i'm sure that you want to use the design now just click themes and then you may choose all design here if we click once and then it will change to all okay so please choose the good one for you Okay, I'm still choosing. Or if you don't want to use this uh, design, you can make your own background. How to do it? Okay, just click the blank one again. You can click the background and then right click format background. You can in fill in, yeah, in fill. You can click solid gradient picture texture or pattern actually in solid you can change the color okay so if you choose the color it, it will be like this okay now if you click gradient example this one pencil gradient style linear or radial like this you can change the color click it or add color or maybe you can change it like this Okay, or picture or texture, you can choose picture from, for example, I choose this. Okay, it will be like this. Okay, now cancel again. Or texture, you can choose texture here. Or choose another one. Or choose this or this one okay so choose which one you like or we choose another pattern 
ya you can choose this one and then apply to all for example i choose texture stationary and then i click apply to all okay now if you don't like it then you can choose another design next step how to make the open button words just click the shape okay and then click slideshow if you are using Mac you will find this in slideshow button okay then click slideshow and then click action setting if you are using Windows it will be shown using action in front of this around here okay so click slideshow and then find action setting okay and then because we want user to click it and then move to the next slide so we can use mouse click and then click hyperlink to now you can choose next slide previous slide first slide last slide now if we want to make it easy just click slides and then choose after we click start then where they will see or where the next slide that we want to show okay so this one the second slide we click yeah and click okay if you want to play a sound click it and then you can choose clapping and then or highlight click click ok now for the second slide we want if user click this it will go to the world base and then the second picture it will go to the plans and then the second one we will go to the next uh, slide so what we have to do is click the shape again click slide show and then choose action setting hyperlink to now choose slide and then choose which one if this animal then we have to choose the animal information okay and then click ok if you want to play sound it's okay you can put the sound and highlight click okay same things so show and then action setting hyperlink click slides and then i can see a three click ok play sound choose which one i like same for the last one click show and then action setting choose the slide now for this because we don't have any option in here we can click or we can put the shape or we can put another arrow shape Next, we can type then this every they click this option it will go back to the tour option so we can put this watch 
hijau action setting hyperlink to slide We can copy and paste to here. We can arrange this. Or we can change the font size so it will be fit. Paste the box. Same. But we need to set again. Control and then action setting. It will go to the okay. This one. Okay. Oh, sorry. We have to make sure that we click the shape, not the text. Okay. one the next one same yeah okay so now we have to go back here after from here then we give option Set. It means if the user click this, then it will go to the end of the slide. So this one, we haven't made the end of the slide. So just click the new slide. Okay. Okay, this one click this slide show action setting and then we move to the last slide thank you for coming okay and then press on highlight okay so if we want to try to see we can click this okay first we have to click start and then choose your option okay and then go back again click this Go back, click this, go back, click exit, then this. How to how to go back? Press escape or ESC from your keyboard. 